So in this video we're going to um, put together a practical example of working out the volume of a cylinder and for the purposes of this example I'm going to use a can of coke. <laughs> okay. Um, if you visit mathsrap.co.uk there are lots of examples of how you use cylinders and you can also download a worksheet and have a go at some of the calculations for yourself. Um, this is a, a can of coke. Now on the side it very clearly says that the container contains 330 millilitres of coca-cola. Well we need to prove that um, or at least certainly we need to get as close as we can. So if you have a look at the video on how to work out the volume of a cylinder then that will give you a good idea of the method that we're going to use and I'll go through it again anyway in this method, uh, in this video. So the first thing is, is that we need to, I'm afraid, it's, uh, it's been designed with a bit of a curvature there and a bit of a curvature in the bottom, so I'm afraid we're going to ignore those. Uh, we're just going to look upon this as being a regular cylinder, so I'm going to draw that up on the board um, and we'll draw it just like that. Okay, and there's my can of Coke. Alrighty, now um, the first thing that we need to do is that we need to make sure that we've got in place the, the calculation, the formula of how to work out volumes. Well, the way that we work out a volume is to work out the area multiplied by the length. Okay, well, if we look at our, our can, um, what we've got here, although it's not, not a particularly great, uh, uh, hopefully it will look okay on the camera, but it is quite a, a sophisticated design at the bottom. But if you imagine that that piece here is a circle, okay? So we're looking at the area of this circle at the top here. And this particular circle has a radius, and we can use the formula pi r squared. Okay, and that will give us the area of this circle at the top. The other thing that we need to look at is that the, the can of coke has a height as well. So, I haven't got any measurements at the moment, I'm going to measure them, but the height that we're going to use will be this measurement here. Okay, so this is the height and this is the radius. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to use my ruler and I'm going to measure across the diameter. If you look across there, um, hopefully this is showing up okay on the video, but if you look across here, that's going to give me a diameter of six and a half centimeters. Okay, so the diameter, uh, if I just draw it as a circle inside here, the diameter across this is 6.5 centimeters. Okay, and also I'm going to measure the height, and again using my ruler, that's going to give me a height of 11 and a half centimetres. Well, that's fairly straightforward, so the height is going to be 11.5 centimetres. Okay, so a couple of things really. Um, the first thing is, is that, so the measurements I've taken have been fairly basic. And I've just used a standard 12-inch um, ruler to do that. Um, I've had to uh, estimate a little bit, but nevertheless, it will give you a good approximation of the volume of this particular Coke can cylinder. Um, the other thing about it is that the measurement that they give on the Coke can is actually millilitres. Okay, and the measurement that they give is 330 millilitres. Alright, so um, I'm going to work out the volume as centimetres cubed. Okay, <laughs> which is not the same as millilitres, or is it? Well, actually, yes it is, because by very happy coincidence, um, millilitres is the same as centimetres cubed. Uh, more or less, 
Okay, if you go to uh, the Matarac website, there is a, a post on the different types of measurements, and you'll see that centimetres cubed is the same as millilitres. So actually, providing we keep our measurements in centimetres, then we're going to come out with an answer which will be given to us, we'll calculate as centimetres cubed, but it's going to be the same as millilitres. Okay, so let's put some numbers into the calculation. Um, now, normally, um, on an exam paper, or just for general use, pi is given as 3.142. Obviously, um, for the purposes of this, we are estimating it anyway, but so we'll stick with 3.142 as the value of pi. Um, the radius is going to be half of the diameter. Okay, so it, I think it's very important to look at it as a separate number. So the radius there is going to be 3.25 centimeters, which is half of 6.5. It's very important that you do that because um, this is radius squared, so it's going to be 3.25 times 3.25, okay? It's not 2 times the radius, it's the radius times the radius, okay? So if you have a look again at the um, how to calculate the volume of a cylinder video, that will give you that as well. Um, in the calculation and example that we use there. Um, the other thing we're going to multiply by is the height, which is 11.5. Okay, so if our calculations are correct, 3.142 times 3.25 times 3.25 times 11.5 should give us a centimetres cube value of around about 330 milliliters, or around about 330. I hope that's the case, and I am actually going to do this on my calculator, and then I'll put my calculator up to the video so you can see for yourself. So I'm going to use 3.142 multiplied by 3.25 multiplied by 3.25 multiplied by 11.5. Okay, now hopefully you can see that on the video. And if I press the equal sign, that's going to give me 381.65. 381.65. Okay, centimetres cubed. All right, well, that's not that close to 330, but it's not too far away. So what I need to do is uh, make sure that I've got these calculations or this measurement correct. And what's happened in this particular case is that the 11.5 is probably a little bit more than I should have used, and the 3.25 is also a little bit more. But hopefully it'll give you some idea of how to make sure that the values that are printed on the side of products will give you an idea of what's contained within them. Um, the other point that uh, I forgot to mention is we've used approximations. So you can see here that if I've got uh, this end piece, it's like that. Okay, greatly exaggerated like that. So there's this whole area of coke here which is missing. Um, and also it's chamfered at the top here. So in all likelihood, it's pretty close to the 330 millilitres. Um, which is printed on the side of the can, and I'm sure it is. Um, I hope that's okay for you. Um, if you do like the video, please do make a comment below, or post, or tweet, or uh, embed the video. Um, I will do my best to get back to you on any comments, and if you'd like to subscribe to the site, then you'll be posted as and when I put a new comment, uh, put a new video onto the onto the channel. Um, look forward to seeing you inside the next video.